A wonderful new year, my dear friends. This is Vani Ocampo. Welcome to Pathways of Hope. It is a challenging first 12 days of January as many of our family, relatives, and friends are getting sick again because of the COVID virus. As for us here in Ormoc Leyte, in the last three weeks, we have been really busy doing relief operations for the victims of Typhoon Odette, especially those in the Pacific towns of Southern Leyte. The Gospel today from Mark chapter 1 verses 29 to 39 is exactly what we needed to hear today to bring the peace in our hearts. There are three parts to the Gospel and I'd like to highlight these points. First, Jesus healing the mother-in-law of Simon and many other people. Second, Jesus went to a solitary place to pray by himself. And third, preaching the gospel in the nearby villages. Let us reflect on the first part where Jesus healed the mother-in-law of Simon from fever. Take note what Jesus did to heal her. So he went to her, took her hand, and helped her up. The fever left her, and she began to wait on them. Jesus touched her, and she received instant healing. It showed us the power and authority of Jesus. As soon as Simon's mother-in-law was healed, she served the disciples. God healed her for a purpose. For those of us who have also received healing, God has a reason for healing us. I remember almost three years ago, I received my own healing from my heart problem, arrhythmia. And now, nowadays, as we do so many relief operations for the victims of the typhoon, I can only turn to God to praise Him for healing my heart, for restoring my health, so I would be able to serve Him and so that I would be a channel of His love for other people. Second, Jesus prayed by Himself. You know, this new year, I think one of the best resolutions or decisions that we could make is to actually put God first. By putting Him first means meeting Him every day in prayer. Our personal prayer time should be our most important meeting for the day. Even before we meet with other people, we should meet God first. Let us come before Him, kneel before Him, meditate on His Word, praise Him, thank Him, intercede for other people. Let us be like Jesus who knows how to be alone so He can pray and worship our Father in heaven. Third point, Jesus went to nearby villages to preach. It is also our call, my dear brothers and sisters, as you listen to me right now, to preach the gospel, to let people know about the love of God. You know, when we were giving relief packs to the victims of the typhoon, what we were saying to them is that this came from God. We are merely channels. Merely, we are merely hands and feet of God. And we would end by saying to all of them, God bless you. By doing acts of kindness, by reaching out to people, we are actually being like Jesus, preaching the gospel. So three simple things I'd like us to remember as we reflect on the gospel today. First, we have a God who heals, and He healed us 
for a purpose. Second, the prayer is important. It, sh it is such a privilege to come before the Lord in prayer and so therefore we should make it our priority. And third, we are God's co-workers. Like Jesus, let us preach to nearby villages. Share the word of God. Share the love of God to your family, to your friends, to your colleagues. Those are your nearby villages. Again, Happy New Year and may the Lord bless you.